I am CJ Owens. I'm from a small town called Donington, about an hour away from here. Jimbo come and gave his testimony at my church probably three years ago and brought the ministry in and didn't know who he was then. And then when I needed to seek help, my pastor come and told me about Jimbo. And then it all started coming back who he was. I pray for the lost there, Father God, and the ones that are hurt tonight, the ones that don't have homes tonight, Father God, as we go into our nice little home. And maybe that's something to be grateful tonight, just for the bags that we sleep in, Father God. The drugs had me somewhere else, and they didn't want to bring my niece and nephew up around that, which I understood. And it got to the point where my brother-in-law told my sister, I said, hey, I don't want your brother alone with my kids anymore, and that's when it kind of woke me up. The day I come in here, it was the Tuesday after Father's Day. And when I got here, of course, Jimbo welcomed me with open arms. I didn't have, when I, when I first got here, I didn't have this sick feeling like I thought I was. Like I was gonna be miserable, stuff like that, but all the guys here, they welcomed me in and it, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. I shingled three houses. We remodeled Jimbo's whole house. Uh, the house, I think they called it Bojangles House. We stripped it all down. We moved the house from the beach to the farm and remodeled that whole thing and put a roof on it. Jimbo, he's, he's straightforward. He don't, he don't beat around the bush. He's gonna tell you like it is. And that's how it should be, tough love. And what he's doing for this ministry and doing for guys and women, man, it's something real. I have guys that other ministries wouldn't take because of COVID and Jimbo brought right in the church. Everybody was shutting the church down. Free ministry was still having church. So. That's easier to count for some people. He's a sparrow. know your name because your name needs to be written down that little book of life and it says in that name that your name will be written in that book is your name written in that book of life i could go on all day about what god's done for me man my granddad's got a real top line that me and him my best friend jimbo's not gonna force religion on you He's gonna sit here, tell you about the Bible, tell you the truth. Free ministry is a place to be for rehab. Tough love gets you ready for the real world if you haven't been in it yet. And Jimbo's just a real deal when it comes to uh, a rehab center. When we went to the beach, we done a revival uh, in Myrtle Beach. First revival I've ever been to. And man, just seeing homeless people come together and watching me and my other brothers go out and try to help other people and feed people and try to spread the word, that was, that was awesome. I've never done that before. The first weekend I went home from not being home for a while, I got to see my, the look on my niece's face back home from working, man, it was priceless. Baptizing the ocean. I thought that was awesome. I've been baptized before, the motors weren't right. But to be able to get baptized in, in God's ocean, that was, that was pretty awesome. I've grown close to this place. It's bittersweet. I love all my brothers here, Jimbo and Miss Lynn. They always have a close place in my heart. I'll do anything for them. I know they do anything for me. And for all my brothers here, just keep your eyes on the prize. You'll get it, and I will be back to visit.